Hello guys and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be checking out the Soundcore VR P10 earbuds that were sent over to me by Soundcore themselves. Now these are specifically made for the Meta Quest 2. And guess who does not have a Meta Quest 2? Me. But I will still be reviewing them based on their claims of super low latency which is below 30 ms and showing off the dongle and all that good stuff. So these earbuds go for basically $100 on Soundcore's website and they boast a lot of great features for gamers. So you can answer calls mid game, they have ultra low latency, and you can connect to multiple devices with different dongles. So let's talk about that. Basically inside the box you get the earbuds themselves and you get this dongle that comes with it. Now this dongle can be attached to whatever device you would like to use the ultra low latency on, whether it be your PS5, Xbox, PC, and this basically just gives you 2.4 Hertz high speed wireless connection instead of Bluetooth for your earbuds, which we all know 2.4 Hertz connection is a lot faster and has a lot lower latency than Bluetooth does. With that being said, this is where my first complaint comes into play. Now this dongle is shaped very weirdly and it was shaped very weirdly that even when I plugged it into my PC, because of the shape being very long, it will not go all the way into the USB-C port hole. I don't know if that's just my motherboard, but my headphones that I have a uh, Apple USB-C dongle to headphone jack adapter fit perfectly on my USB-C ports, but this one did not because of the weird shape it has on the dongle. It is just too long and it just makes it a bit funky to use. I would have liked it for it to be vertical, but I see why they went horizontal with the design because you can attach them to your VR headset. So having a vertical thing sticking out, it could easily break. So I understand why it is not the way I just suggested it to be. Now, with that being said, I was still able to test them out with everything else. So when it comes to the Bluetooth connectivity stuff, obviously these can be used as your typical regular earbuds. And they do have a really nice LED on the earbuds that can be changed through their software. Now when it comes to sound quality, these are on the bassier side of things and that is personal preference, but I noticed that the vocals kind of suffered because of this. So they also have an EQ in the software where you can change everything you want. So I just went in there and raised the mids and kept everything else the same and it just sounded pretty good. So overall, the sound quality of these earbuds is pretty decent right out the box. A little tweaking is all I had to do for me to somewhat enjoy them. They also have some features on their software that basically make it towards where they amplify footsteps for those people that are playing like maybe Call of Duty or CSGO or Valorant or any type of shooting game like that. They have a mode towards where you can amplify the footsteps of your surroundings so you can get a better idea of where people are. So that obviously does work pretty decently. Now I prefer not to use that. I feel like it is overdone. Like I can hear perfectly fine, but for the people that do like it, it is there and it is a cool feature as well. Now with the dongles, you only get one in the box and you can buy separate ones. So you can have up to four, I believe, and you can switch from each dongle to each dongle really easily through the software. So if you wanna be on your phone or if you wanna be on your VR headset and then quickly connect it to your Xbox, you could easily do that as well. These have six hours of playback time and 24 hours playback time through the charging case and they are IPX for water resistance. Now these do have a lot going for them. I will say that they are a very unique and cool concept, but I don't think they nail the basics well enough. Like there is no active noise cancellation, which I would have loved to see in these earbuds. And when it comes to sound quality wise, I felt like they could have been a bit better. So if they were to raise the price or maybe make a version two of these earbuds in the future, I would say to basically put more money into the sound quality and active noise cancellation, basically the basics of what makes an earbud good. Not saying these earbuds are bad in any sort of way, but there are definitely plenty of better earbuds when it comes to sound quality wise at this price point. I'll be leaving a link to them in the description below if you do wanna buy them, 
But let me know what you guys think about these earbuds in the comments down below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.